Right. So in this next video, you're going to hear from one of my sexologists who has been through my nine month living sexology program and the changes that she has made inside of her own body and her own life and how her relationship to sexuality has really shifted her relationship to intimacy and really finding that deeper sense of connection with self and with another. My name is Dr. Willow Brown, and I love to help people evolve, change, grow, and heal on their sexual journey. The best way that I do that is through a nine-month program called Living Sexology, which you're about to hear from one of my clients all about. I'll see you there. Final sort of question for you today, Denise, is like, how, how has it changed? You know, you've been at this for three, four years now. So how has it kind of before, changed your overall perspective on life? You know, thinking back to before you started this medicine and, and now, like, how has it shifted? Well, I, I just think there's just this whole world that I've been introduced to and that I can, that I can explore and get to know that that just wasn't there before. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, um, I guess it's just really expanded my world, my, my, and not just my sexual world, but my whole just in sense of health as well. And the well being that I can create, there's so, there's so many tools that I have you know, that I can use for my own health and well-being rather than, than running to the doctor for this or that. And I mean, of course, doctors, doctors are important and we need them, um, you know, in terms of like going to, to a Western doctor, because I, I would do that, you know, oh, my skin or oh, my this or my that. And now I feel like, like I can call on, on other, on other things to help with that. And my diet too. I mean, you help us with diet. Um, so it is a it's a very comprehensive there's there's a lot to to draw on um so i would say i i just feel more equipped i feel more equipped in my life um yeah it it doesn't feel kind of as lonely in terms of you know again like kind of going back to the beginning of my story of, of like showing up to or having kaiser you know and again, of course, you know we, we know that, that these medical institutions are are important, but but they aren't as comprehensive. You know, they don't offer as much. They don't offer as many as many tools and as many avenues. So, yeah, and yeah. and it's not, it, it, and yes, God bless Western medicine and Western doctors. We need them, of course. But yes, it, it's also the word doctor is to it means to teach, to be a teacher. Mm. You know, and so that's really my goal is to give this medicine to you so you can make it your own, really, so that it becomes like I've just seen you really integrate it into your life, Denise, in such a beautiful and natural way. It doesn't feel like something that you work real hard at, you know. You maybe in the beginning you did, but now mm -hmm. it's just a part of who you are. Mm -hmm. And it shows up in your relationships, you know, and you've got a, a young adult daughter. So, you know, yeah. you know, passing that wisdom on to her and she's passing wisdom on to you. So there's this beautiful yeah. synergy between the two of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I I refer you to her quite often because she's 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 thinking about maybe studying to be a natural naturopath um and yeah and just how we can model success and health and creativity to each other and she has taught me so much um about my diet and she's really helped me clean up my diet and um and then she was talking about like um things that you that I ended up learning from you and she kind of started talking about like like a jade egg I'm like what is and like she got it at a festival and I'm like okay that's cool but I have no idea you know what that even is um and I think she was talking about the the microcosmic orbit as well so yeah it, it's cool how how that's come together that way yeah. And I just feel so grateful. I feel really grateful that I met you. And, and I, you know, as soon as I met you at Oregon Eclipse, you were teaching a, a yoga, like tantric yoga 
um, you know, and I saw it on the calendar. I'm like, wow, that sounds amazing. I got to check that out. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, fun day. That yeah. was a magical day that eclipse. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. Powerful. So really, really cool. Yeah. And yeah, and I love, I just love how, you know, it's opened up this whole new level and this whole new conversation between you and your daughter. You know, there's yeah. this, this beautiful closeness that, I mean, you guys have always been close, but there's this, this whole other world that you get to like talk about together and explore together. And, you know, the magical world, it's bringing the magical world forth in your life so that you can share it with others and, and yeah. play in that realm together. So um yeah very very powerful so what would you say to anyone who's considering joining living sexology well I'd say it's a it's a good investment you know it's it's definitely uh, yeah it's it's a great investment I would say definitely do it you're going to learn a lot um you know Will is a great resource and well organized and I mean, absolutely. There's there's so much to choose from and to learn, um, and it's it's so holistic. You know, there's there's so much from from diet to you know a whole new community of friends, and, and of course a whole reading list and and just philosophy to learn from that I feel like has really been lost in at least in my my experience of the world and and you know ever since I read the the Miss of Avalon when I was in college and it was just blew my socks off. Like what? And then I got kind of mad. Like, why didn't I know about this? And, and um, so I feel like it's a little bit a piece of that kind of just wisdom and culture of just the wisdom of women and so much lost history that, that can be reclaimed. And, and I guess the other thing is being an older person, you know, I'm 59 and, and it, it helps me to just um, be okay with, with getting older and, and um, following the moon in the sky, you know, now that I don't have my menstrual cycle. And that's just been such a gift. Um, so I really appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I love, I love you, Brian. The Mists of Avalon, oh my God, <laughs> one of my favorite books of all time. You know, and I have this real, um, real draw and this real connection with the with the pagan and the Celtic tradition. Yeah. And I bring that in some, you know, but but what's so interesting is the the pagan tradition, the Taoist tradition. They're the same, you know. It's it's earth based medicine. It's earth based listening and tuning in and following and, and even like organizing your schedule according to these ebbs and flows that we go through as yeah. earth and yeah. um, it just makes it so much sense it makes a world of difference and you know in that book if you've never read it the myths of Avalon there's this priestess that like the whole story is about this journey of the priestess and and I was thinking about that just yesterday how we are actually really priestessing life force energy through our bodies that jing chi that that essence of sexual energy that we all come from we are when we're doing our practices we're priestessing that energy through our bodies and through our lives so you know using that word as a verb you know to to priestess yourself forward it's really to give birth to yourself you mm. know all of your expansion you know and all of so that you're coming forward into the world with absolutely no apologies you know no doubt and no fear and that just takes being attuned to practice and listening yeah yeah I love that <laughs> yeah. beautiful thank you so much Denise anything else you want to say before we we tap off oh my gosh um I don't think so Okay, covered it all. Okay, <laughs> good. Yeah, well, yeah. beautiful. And thank you everyone so much. If you have any questions for us, you can write them in the comments and I will come in and answer those questions. And then tomorrow we're going to meet up with Charlotte. Charlotte is um, 
just really fun and a joy. You're going to love her just as much as you've loved listening to Denise. And um, so we'll see you tomorrow all at 9 a.m. And there will be a registration link to come into the Zoom calls. If you do want to come in, it's a great time to kind of ask questions to, um, you know, to Charlotte tomorrow, if you would like to have that more direct conversation with us. So sending you all so much love again, Denise, thank you for your time today and we will see you soon. Okay. Sounds good, Willow. Namaste. Bye. Bye.